what is Arlita? It's a question that many folks have been trying to answer for many, many decades. It's been changing over the years, but hey, as of today, it's not a bad place to buy your first starter home. Let's dive into the history of Arlita. Arlita is a small strip of land between three and four square miles in the northeast San Fernando Valley. What started off as a part of Pacoima eventually became their own city west of the 5 Freeway. When the 5 Freeway was completed in the 60s, the predominantly Caucasian portion of Pacoima separated and became Arlita. Before that, Arlita was just the subject to a housing boom of small tract homes after World War II, and then another because a glut of factories were built nearby. Because of that housing boom, a lot of African Americans and Latinos moved in. Arlita was in disarray for a while. After a period of time, most of the original people would move out seeking more white collar jobs. Today, although Arlita was meant to be separated as a town mostly for Caucasians, it is predominantly Latino. In terms of pop culture, it was the filming location for the McFly family in the Back to the Future series. It was also where the Osmond family singers of the 1970s once lived. You remember Donnie and Marie, right? Clean cut, like me. In terms of real estate, the houses are small, the prices are low. It actually has overtaken Pacoima as the highest crime rate in the valley. But hey, get what you can right now in terms of real estate. In 2005, Arlita High School opened and now houses three small schools, one devoted to social justice, another for science, math, and related technologies, and the third for the visual and performing arts. Arlita High School is recognized as one of the California Gold Ribbon Schools by the Department of Education. The rapper, Jonathan Porter, also went there. Branford Park has an auditorium, indoor and outdoor gyms, and a play area for kids. That's a good thing because there's a high percentage of residents ages 11 through 18 here, and youngsters need a place to run and burn off the energy. Arlita has a high percentage of people born outside the country. You will find some of this diversity on Van Nuys Boulevard at places like Ay Papa Que Rico, home of the Fire Grill Chicken. This Cuban-owned restaurant also serves ribs, platano maduro, sandwiches, and much more. Nearby is also Laura's Mexican and Seafood and Flaming Walk Chinese food. Hmm, Cuban, Mexican, Chinese, I can't decide. Near the Golden State Freeway in Arlita, Juicy Couture was started in 1997. In 2001, the Juicy tracksuit was introduced and designed for Madonna. This is a neighborhood that has been steadily growing and transforming itself over the years. It still remains a great place to buy your first starter home. Call me, Julian Park. I'm <laughs> sorry.